if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 20 of the third season here at Chelsea Football Club on FIFA 16. We start with a game against, oh, now third placed Everton. They were second. They've actually been dropped down to third thanks to Man United winning on game day 25. We are yet to play. Uh, if we lose then we'll still stay top on goal difference, but it would be it would mean that we'd be joint level on points with Everton and Man United would only be three behind us. If we can win, we'll go six points clear at the top of the Barclays Premier League. We actually have fourth placed Arsenal next in two days' time after this one, and then an FA Cup game against Burnley at the end of the week too. So there's a lot on the line here with regards to today's episode. I'm going to auto-replace an injured player. I think that's probably Willian. I still haven't taken out my starting squad. I'm probably going to have to play a stronger side against Everton and then actually I could probably have a mixture of both my first, my main starting side and my rotation side for the game against Everton and similarly for the game against Arsenal and then I'll play the kids against Burnley and see how we get on. Santoso will play this game and the Arsenal game and will play Courtois in the Cup. But I think... I'm just going to be happy enough to start with that team, I think. We're going to jump in. Everton at home, crucially, considering how bad we've been away from home. And Everton beat us at Goodison Park earlier on this season by three goals to one, was it? I think Alexander Lacazette came off the bench to score a very good goal. So, going to hope for the best. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you drop it a thumbs up rating and subscribe if you haven't already. Link's in the description as well to my Twitter if you want to come and follow me over there and Instagram and Facebook and Twitch, etc., where I'll be streaming, obviously, later on tonight too. But for now, let's jump in away from home against Everton and see if we can get Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang another goal in a Chelsea shirt. Coleman to Delafay, back to Seamus Coleman. This is good football from Everton. Waited for that turn and we blocked it well. McCarthy out wide to Baba, who obviously we sold to them earlier on this year. They've also got Loic Remy, who we sold to them in the, a previous season, but Baba hits the side netting in the opening five minutes. We're all right for now. Heavy touch by Oviedo. Nathaniel Klein steals it off him. Former Liverpool man, of course. Bale, Hammers. Oh, get there. Yes, Nathaniel Klein. He's done really well. We'll turn this towards the back post. Abamyang. He's underneath it. Hits it. Abamyang squeezes it in at the second attempt. 1 0 Chelsea after 16 minutes. I thought. The chance had gone when the uh, header kind of clipped off the defender, but he managed to re kind of compose himself and then slot it into the back of the net with a left-footed finesse, I think, actually. I tried to go with his right. Never mind. Keeper, no chance. Yeah, simple finish in the end. It's weird that the defender didn't react anywhere near as quickly as Aubameyang, but I'm not going to complain. We're 1-0 in front. Wanted to get Pierre-Emerick a goal in the BPL, and now we've done it. Hamid steals it off the defender. That was terrible defending. And Aubameyang's in on his right foot. Aubameyang for two. Everton have committed a, uh, a cardinal sin there, giving the ball away within 30 yards of their own box. Or within 30 yards of their own goal, let alone. Hamid steals it off Besic, I think it is, number 17, into Aubameyang, turns inside. That's a really nice finish as well. 2-0 Chelsea after 25 minutes. Space for Alaba, and I'll play it through that gap, and Neymar will get there. He's got Delefeu closing him down, though, who is very fast. But can he deal with Neymar's quick feet? No, he can't. Neymar for three. What's going on, Everton? This is completely different to what happened at Goodison Park earlier on in the season. Everton just leaving space in behind. I don't know what they're doing defensively. They've really not been very good at all. Lovely finish, though, by Neymar off the far post. 3-0 up after 30 minutes. Radlinger is their goalkeeper, not Tim Howard. I don't know whether that's affected things at all for the Everton defence, because when we played them last time, they had Tim Howard in goal. But to be fair, at least two of our goals, the latter two, the second and the third, have been very good finishes. So I don't think it had anything to do with the goalkeeper. Aubameyang with a brace, and now Neymar with one as well. 3-0. Up we go. Uh, that just kind of hit Matic. Oh, Naismith has got in behind Nathaniel Klein here. I missed the challenge. Stephen Naismith... Oh, right side netting. He's been a nemesis for Chelsea in real life, Stephen Naismith. Scored a hat-trick against us earlier on this season up at Goodison Park. And, well, not far away from getting Everton back in this one. They need a goal and sharpie, so. But it doesn't look like it's going to come before half-time as the whistle is probably about to go. 
Cheers, Seamus. I love that. If you're going to give the ball straight to Hammers, I can't get it to Aubameyang, though. Coleman into Cleverly. Heavy touch, but I can't close him down quickly enough. Everton just keep giving the ball away. That's the only reason they're behind here is because they've just been so useless in possession, which is unlike a Roberto Martinez side. They're normally very, very good with the ball, but Aubameyang's pace is too much for the hat-trick. Aubameyang gets wiped out from behind, but he's not to be denied his third goal of the game. A hat-trick for our new striking signing. 4-0 on the hour mark. I'm going to make some changes now because a couple of players are starting to get quite tired. We'll take Pogba off for Loftus-Cheek. We will bring Traore on for Hammers and move Traore out on the right because I want to start Oxlade-Chamberlain against... Um, I want to start Oxlade-Chamberlain. Actually, should we take Matic off as well? Let's take Matic off for Gaia and then put Alaba in at centre uh, mid. I want to start Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain against Arsenal, his former club. But we're 4-0 up now. The pace, the turn, and then the pace from Aubameyang has just completely torn them apart. He did get completely wiped out after he took the shot by Phil Jagielka there, as you could see. But comfortable finish. Aubameyang, what a signing he's been. Three goals in his BPL debut. I think it's his BPL debut. It is his BPL debut. Klein again stealing the ball off an Everton man. Bale with the turn. Bale with the shot for five. No, past the post. It isn't Aubameyang's BPL debut. I made a mistake. I remembered the game against Man United in the cup and the game against Newcastle in the other cup, but forgot about the game that we played against Manchester City in the BPL. So it's not actually Aubameyang's debut, but these are his first goals in the BPL for us. Klein to Bale. Out wide to Bertrand Traore. Just turn his side one. Just try and use the pace to get away. We'll keep looking for the space in behind. Here's Aubameyang. I'm going to lay this across looking for Alaba. Quickly get it to Neymar to turn inside. Look for his second. And now a fifth. No. And it's going to go out for a corner. I thought for a minute Bale was going to get on the end of that and maybe just put it into the back of an empty net. No. Neymar on the corner. Loic Remy's just come on for Alexandre Lacazette. Someone's up. I think it was a mixture of Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang going for that. But neither of them could get the ball even remotely on target. Remy to Cleverly. Everton trying to save a little bit of uh, dignity here by trying to get themselves a goal back. But just give the ball away again. What are you doing? I've never seen a side like Everton give the ball away this much. And Aubameyang's in for potentially his fourth and our fifth. And he's going to get it as well. He's deadly. I mean, obviously the pace helps, but he's got 89 finishing. You saw how well he put that in the back of the net. May have been one and one, but he's still got to find the corner. Chelsea 5, Everton 0 at, at uh, Stamford Bridge. Complete opposite of what happened at Goodison Park. Ridiculous. Everton just been so bad, but I'll take it. 4 for Aubameyang, 5 for Chelsea. There goes the final whistle. A complete capitulation by Everton away from home. Absolute dominance from us at Stamford Bridge. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is overpowered. He's so good. We could not have made a better striking signing, I don't think. I'm really pleased with how well he's settled in at the club and how quickly I've been able to get used to uh, playing with him. Four goals in uh, that one for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Five for Chelsea as a whole, with only 37% possession as well. Which is weird, because, well, I suppose Everton had a lot of the ball and just kept giving it away, and then I'd catch them on the counter and then score, and then they'd get the ball back again so they could have more possession from the kickoff. So I can kind of understand why we haven't had much of the ball, but 5-0 win. Time to go on against Arsenal then, isn't it? Santi gets past John Stones and he's past Tom Callas and Santosa makes a good save. Three minutes in, I can't keep it in. Three minutes in, Arsenal showing their intentions straight away. Really, really bright start from the North Londoners. Their, uh, Alexis Sanchez is actually top goal scorer in the Barclays Premier League this year with 14 so far. The next highest is... Uh, someone with 10 so he's got four more goals than anyone else in the BPL this year and Joel Campbell and Santi Cazorla 1-0 Arsenal after five minutes mm. please don't let me do what Everton just did away from home and completely crumble 1-0 down early on though but hopefully we'll be able to turn this back around and get ourselves at least back on level terms sooner rather than later Good pressure from Arsenal, though. Just unlucky that Santoso's save went straight to Santi, despite there being like two or three defenders in between him and the ball. Danny Welbeck with a turn on John Stones. Ah, it's probably going to be a foul. I think I clipped his heels there. Is it going to be a yellow card for John Stones? No, no booking, I don't think. No, no booking. Good. Could be a second goal, though. Santi can get this on target, which he has. It is a second goal. <laughs> 
2 0 Arsenal after 10 minutes. Alexis. Don't want to let him get it to oh, Danny Welbeck, but in avoiding. Oh, it's not even Danny Welbeck, it's Joel Campbell. I've got no words. We just completely annihilated Everton, and now we're getting completely annihilated by Arsenal. I was waiting for the ball to go through there to Joel Campbell, and Callas. I don't know what I was doing with Callas. It's terrible defending on my part, but. Ah. Okay. Things are getting worse. Hopefully, before they get better. But I need to actually start putting my finger out here, otherwise this is going to get out of sight. You are having a laugh. We brought in Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain because William got injured and on his first game against his former club, he's picked up an injury. Well, let's bring Dom Solanke on and we'll move Bertrand Traore out wide right. This is not going according to plan in the second game. He's I keep getting lost for words because I've no idea how to explain how we've been so good against Everton and so bad against Arsenal. That's Pete. To RLC. Through the gap to Nathan. Space for Pasalic. Space also for Dom Solanke. Trying to twist away from David Luiz, which he's done well. Get it across the box. Oh, good save by Petacek. There was Pasalic at the back post waiting for it. Trying to save my own dignity now by getting myself back in the game before half-time if I can. That was actually, I think, our first even chance in the box, let alone on goal. Kennedy up against Debussy who apparently is matching Kennedy for pace despite the fact Kennedy's got like 93 acceleration and 87 sprint speed or something silly. Joel Campbell twisting away. Finally Kennedy gets the ball back. We'll try and drop the shoulder and beat David Luiz and Nathan! 3-1! We are saving a little bit of dignity, dignity back in the game. Let's go! Free kick for Arsenal. Alexis to take. Surely we can't concede a fourth before half-time. Surely. God, we'll come close, though. Getting it away. What is Santoso doing? What was Santoso doing? Did he get stuck on the net or something? I just glanced out the corner of my eye, and he was doing something weird at the near post. Like, oh, he fell over the defender, Jose Guy. He had to hurdle over him. This is comical. This is comical. Arsenal 4, Chelsea 1. This is ridiculous. Through the gap to Dom Solanke. Again, it's Pasalic pushing forward. I only wish it was someone with more pace and more prowess in front of goal. But Dom Solanke's going on a nice solo run here. He's still going. Dom Solanke, he's still got the ball. Pastore trying to get it off him. Dom Solanke on a ridiculous run. Bertrand Troy will keep that in. As Pete will go to Nathan. That's not Nathan, that's Pasalic, but never mind. Now we'll go to Ribble off his cheek. Chance to make it 4 2. He's kicked it straight at check. Kennedy, Ribble off his cheek. I've got a penalty. I've put the ball in the back of the net and he's given a pen. I'll take it. It's fine. 4-1 with a chance to make it 4-2. Kennedy getting the shot away and Mertesacker. No, it was Joel Campbell. Weird that they showed Mertesacker there. Anyway, Kennedy to take the penalty. He technically won it. So we'll go top left to make it 4-2. Right, we really are back in the game. Let's go, boys. 4-2 with 28 minutes to go. This has been an in incredible episode. Salic to go short to Kennedy to Gaia quickly to Dom Solanke where do we go here oh no that's not gone well we could still get the cross in Ruben Loftus cheek cross has come in uh, it might still drop to someone Nathan someone oh Dom Solanke can't get on the end of it 15 minutes to get two goals it's now on ever oh Dom Solanke does really well to get it off Alexis Give this into Pasalic's path. I'll give it quickly to Nathan. Try and shrug off David Luiz. I'm running out of space, so I need to pass it, but I've got no one to pass it to without there being an Arsenal man in the way. Pasalic looks for Kennedy through the gap, but can't get it through. As Pete to Bertrand Traore. Drill that into Dom Solanke. Gets the turn in. Dom Solanke to make it 4-3. No! Was that the woodwork or a post? Or it was a, the woodwork via check as well, I think. Tech's come for this. He's, oh, he's going to get there. I didn't think he was going to. As Pete into Nathan to RLC. We are really running out of time now. We get this quickly to Dom Solanke. Right, can you get past David Luiz? Yes, Dom Solanke in the box. Dom Solanke for full three. Time is running out, but we are back in the game. It's a, a one goal game. It's 4 3. Ruben Loftus cheek through to Dom Solanke. Just gets past David Luiz with some good pace. Angle against him actually wasn't the best of runs from me, but the finish was very, very good. Just to power on it, beating Petr Cech. 4 3 with five minutes to go. Can we pull off the comeback? Oh, stop it. You take the piss now, Arsenal. 
Put pressure on Kieran Gibbs. Maybe you'll make a mistake. Maybe you'll make a mistake. Oh, they nearly gave me the ball. Stop playing the ball around like that. Win that for Salic. Now or never, Nathan. Get there. Nathan, please. No. David Louise. Oh, it's the former Chelsea man that gets the final touch to stop us from getting an equaliser. I am just exasperated after those two games. A 5-0 win at home against Everton, followed by a 4-3 defeat away from home against Arsenal when we were 3-0 down after half an hour. To be fair, we turned that around pretty well, although we definitely could have done better, obviously, but still. A hat-trick for Santi in that one after Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang got a hat-trick in the previous game for us. We had the same amount of shots as them and actually one extra shot on target, but... I have absolutely no idea what's happened in those two games. Seven goals in one, two games, 12 goals. Absolute madness. We've got four games between uh, us, no, two, three games between ourselves and the cup against Manchester City. You know what, I think I might leave it there after today. I think I'm actually done with FIFA right now. We'll play all three games tomorrow. We were going to have to have three games either today and then two games tomorrow before the one game special against Man City. So we'll have two games today rather than three today and two tomorrow. We'll do three tomorrow because after those two games, I'm, I'm done. That's ridiculous. Absolutely effing ridiculous. 5-0 win at home, 4-3 win away, uh, defeat away. Madness. We'll play those three games tomorrow and then it will be the uh, the Capital One Cup final special on Sunday because you'll see this Friday and then we'll play those three on Saturday and we'll play Man City on Sunday. Sorted. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. Check the channel page itself for anything you may have missed, whether it be this series, the My Player series, the introduction of the new Euro 2016 collectible series as well. Uh, but for now, I'll see you next time.